Hello, everyone. My name is Gary Holland, a 20 plus year resident of Stafford County. My wife, Jeanette, and I, we've raised our five children uh, in Stafford County, uh, and we've uh, enjoyed our time here in Stafford County. I serve as an associate pastor for Word of Faith Church in Dumfries, and I'm the founder of Enough, which is a group focused on, on advocacy, uh, collaboration, and transformation uh, uh, across our communities. I've always been someone that's cared about uh, the community and cared about uh, doing what I can to be a voice for those who don't often have opportunities to let their voices be heard. Uh, so when the thing started happening last, uh, over a year ago, uh, internally I was, I was very frustrated because I did see uh, a lot of uh, faith leaders uh, or community leaders step up and and protest with people or speak to people or engage with people to help them uh, get some of their questions answered, to help them to have someone to talk to, uh, to listen to them, uh, to help them vent and release some of the frustration they had. So I was frustrated, but I didn't see that uh, at the protest or out here in the community. So I volunteered uh, to get out there and to, to be that change that I, that I wanted to see. So the impact to me personally initially was a little bit of frustration. Um, but it actually ended up resulting in a lot of creativity and the establishing of a lot of new uh, relationships uh, with different people throughout the community from Stafford to Caroline County. Uh, so just because something starts from a place of, of frustration or, or negativity doesn't mean it has to end that way. And I certainly believe that with the, uh, the situations that we encountered in this community, you know, uh, over a year ago. The first time I met him, uh, it was at a community event that was organized by a local businesswoman. And it, was, it wasn't a protest, it was before that. It was a community event, a lot of vendors, a lot of fun, uh, just a, a great uh, opportunity for all. It was at Mountain View High School. That was the first time that I met him through a mutual friend. And I'd heard about him, uh, but we just met and we socialized that day. And uh, it was a good meeting. Not, I didn't talk to him again after that until some of the things started happening uh, in our community with the protests, George Floyd, et cetera. And I reconnected with Vernon and was able to begin to work with Vernon uh, to uh, organize and participate in some of the, the rallies and some of the community conversations. He was integral to helping drive the formation of the forums in our community where we were able to bring together through his leadership and his relationships, we were able to bring together local political leaders, elected officials, law enforcement, uh, faith leaders, and the community to have open conversations at a local church. And seeing Vernon uh, pull together and facilitate those initial forums, I learned a lot from that. And as he had to begin shifting back to his business, he asked if I would uh, step in and lead uh, some of the uh, remaining forums, and I did. So I actually learned a lot from him by watching how he navigated a very complex, treacherous <laughs> you know, uh, landscape uh, to pull people together uh, and to get the community, to give them the opportunity to talk to their elected officials, law enforcement, et cetera, to express themselves. The school board was involved as well, representatives from the school board, and they were very powerful. Uh, so much so uh, we were asked to go to Fredericksburg to help facilitate a uh, forum in Fredericksburg as well. And there was one done there, and uh, then they took it their own path after that. Um, but I learned a lot from him in terms of how he uh, leads and how he negotiates and how he really works hard to bring different sorts of opinions together so that they can, they can listen to each other, hopefully learn from each other, and hopefully move forward together. So I certainly learned a lot from him uh, in that respect last year and continue to do a lot of those same things um, even now as I formed a group called Enough um, that does a lot of that same work uh, in the community. A lot of it's based on what I've learned from the time I spent with um, the burn. Yeah, it, here in Stafford during that, I think one of the questions is, relates to the multicultural commission that was formed and there were a number of things going on over the last year or so. Uh, and the communication with the Board of Supervisors about forming this multicultural commission was certainly one of them. Um, also, during that time, 
there was the forming of a group of people that really wanted to get out into the community and, and help, uh, especially with the onset of COVID. Uh, so there was, in all of this, you know, this cauldron, there were some very good things that, that came out of it, uh, especially with regard to people really focusing on volunteerism, forming food banks, uh, getting the word out regarding COVID testing during that time, helping people schedule vaccinations when they became available and were very hard uh, to be to be scheduled. Uh, you know, lots of positive things came out of the community directed at all aspects of our community, not just the black and brown communities, but you know, Middle Eastern, white communities, etc. You know, all aspects were being uh, addressed because people really were moved to get out in the community and make a difference. In terms of the, the local government, there was a lot of work done around the Multicultural Commission. And initially, the idea behind it, uh, it had more teeth. I think in Prince William County, their commission has more teeth. They can actually, um, you know, have people, you know, testify. They can bring in and they can bring investigators in and pay them to look into issues. Uh, that was the initial idea for this one, but the teeth were removed during the process. And what was ultimately approved was essentially an advisory group that is supposed to advise the board on issues regarding race. Um, I'm not on the board. The way that the board was formed uh, was questionable <laughs> in many opinions, in many, in, in many aspects. I'm not saying that I should be on, but the way that it was formed was questionable. And I think you should probably ask some of the current board members. I know several. Uh, they would probably say that the uh, board doesn't have the teeth or the impact or influence it was it was envisioned having when it was formed. So the goal is to hold on and hopefully over time develop it and give it more uh, more of a voice in, in the matters of race uh, here in Stafford County. But right now it's really just an advisory board and I uh, think it's uh, questionable in terms of its, its, its impact right now, but it is still new and there's still time for it to develop and grow and and uh, and see what it's uh, what, what it's going to be.